Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be going over how to scan additional pages into an existing document. Now to start with, I'm in the PDF editor of File Center, and I've got a document open. If I go down to the end of the document, I've got a signature page down here. Now, I now have a signed signature page that's actually been signed by the witnesses and the testator, and I want to replace this page with the signed page. Let's go through the steps of how to do that. Now the first thing I want to do is get rid of this page that doesn't have the signatures on it. So making sure that I have this page selected down here in the thumbnails view, or that it's the page in view over here, I can come up here to my toolbar, and we've got a button right here which is the delete page button. I click that. Yes, I want to delete this page from the document. Okay, that page has now been deleted, and it's time to scan in a new page to replace it with. My next step is just to come up and hit the Scan button on the main toolbar. Now, the place we need to look is right here, the Scan Action. And this time, we're going to select this action right here. I don't want to create a new scan. That'll create a whole new document. I want to add pages onto this scan. So I'm going to click right here, Append Scan. And what that's going to do is, whatever pages I scan, these pages will be placed at the end of my document. And that's exactly what I want right now, because that signature page was the last page of this document. So let's go ahead with the scan and see what happens. And there it is. And now all I would need to do is uh, save this document and close it. Now let's switch over to the cabinets view and see how to do exactly the same thing to an existing file without opening it first. Okay, here I am in my cabinet view. I have a client's drawer and folder selected, and here's a will. And it's the same will that we just saw over in the, in the PDF editor. And I want to do just what I did there. I want to replace the last page of the will with a signed signature page. The first thing I need to do is get rid of that signature page. And there are a few ways to do this, but the easiest, I think, is just to come up here to the File Preview and open a preview of the document. And here we can scroll to the end, and there it is. There's that page. Now, you can actually delete this page right in the preview window. See, I have that same button right there. I'll delete that page and then save the changes right here. Okay, so that page is gone, and I didn't even have to open my document. Now let's do our scan and add a new page onto the end of the document. Just as before, we come up here, hit the Scan button, and we select that option, Append Scan. Notice as we do that now, we can't change the file name. This is the file we're going to be working on. We'll be appending a scan to the file that is currently selected here in our cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and click Start Scan, and let's see what happens. And that's it. The page came in, and File Center tacked that page onto the very end of the selected file. To make sure that it showed up, let's just open the file preview and take a look at the end of the document. And there it is. There's our signed signature page right at the end of the document. Okay, I'm back in my PDF editor where we're going to take a look at another very common problem. I just scanned a nine-page document. But looking down here in the lower right-hand corner, I see that only eight pages showed up in File Center. Apparently, two pages were stuck together and both got pulled through the scanner at the same time. Now, looking at my document, I quickly spotted that it's page three that's missing. I have page two, and I have page four, but no page three. So I need to rescan page three and insert it into the right spot. Let's see how to do that. The first step is to select the page that precedes the location where I want the page to go. I want to select that page that's right before the spot where I want to insert the scan. So in this case, that's going to be page 2. So I select page 2, and now I can go up and hit my Scan button. Now the option I want to select here is Insert After Page. And by selecting page 2, that's automatically inserted here. Here is where you put the page position where you want that inserted. So we're going to insert it after page 2. Let's go ahead with our scan and see what happens.
and there it is. And my page count is up to nine, just where it needs to be. Now, you might be wondering, what if I had scanned more than one page? What if I would scanned five pages? Well, that doesn't matter. All five pages would have been inserted into that space right after the selected page. So there you have it. Hopefully you see that it's really very easy and very painless to insert new pages into an existing document. Coming up here to my Scan button, you'll notice we have a few options. I mean, we saw a pen scan and insert after page. We can also prepend a scan. That means it'll put new pages onto the beginning of the document. And all of these options work just the same whether you're in the PDF editor or whether you're in the cabinet view.